Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, in his out, in between us. My name's Dan, welcome back to another Plat Reports, The Bad Bits. And again, it's only called that until I do decide on a name. Don't forget, you can still help by throwing your suggestions in the comments for what to name this separate series from the normal Plat Reports. It's Thursday, August the 6th, 2020. Judge Elizabeth Nichols, sitting at Manchester Crown Court, has allowed a paedophile to walk free, even after commenting that these offences are serious and concerning, you knew what you were doing, and you believed you were communicating with a 13-year-old girl. 50-year-old Ronald Simpson decided that losing his job because of the lockdown was reason enough for him to start chatting up who he believed to be a 13-year-old girl in an online chat room and arranging to meet her. Simpson made sexual innu innuendos during what the court heard was a flirtatious chat with the girl and arranged to meet her in a retail park in Salford. However, when Simpson arrived, he was met by police. Appearing at Manchester Crown Court, his lawyer described Simpson as a rather pathetic 50-year-old. I'm sure I could add to that, but I'm not going to. Who turned to alcohol and cannabis after losing his job and in June began speaking to who he believed to be a 13 year old. They arranged to meet in Salford on June the 11th but police pounced when he arrived and smashed his window uh, of his car in order to seize his mobile phone. His device was later found to contain two indecent images of children, one of category B and one of category C. Simpson's lawyer told the court that he came to his senses when the police struck. But he, and he is now bitterly regretful of his actions and is remorseful. Really? <laughs> no shit. A pedo who regrets being a pedo? Because he got caught? I wonder just how bitter his regrets would have been if it was a real 13-year-old girl and he actually raped her, rather than the girl he was talking to being undercover police. Sentencing Judge Elizabeth Nichols told Simpson these offences are serious and concerning. You knew what you were doing. You believed you were communicating with a 13-year-old girl. The court heard that Simpson told the probation service that he had turned to chat rooms after becoming bored and lonely. But that is not the reality here, the judge said. It is simply an excuse that you gave yourself. The reality is you have a problem. So noting that he has a problem is no doubt a serious threat to other youngsters. Noting that his excuse is just something he told himself to justify his actions and that Simpson of Longley Lane Withenshaw pleaded guilty to attempting to meet a child following grooming, attempted to engage in sexual communication with a child and possessing indecent images of a child. Judge Elizabeth Nichols let Simpson walk from court with a 15 month prison sentence suspended for two years and the order to attend and complete 30 days of rehabilitation activity. Unbelievable. And they wonder why they're unable to stop people abusing children. Now, you must remember PC 3139 William Sampson from South Yorkshire Police, the cretin who thought it was a good idea to use a 16-year-old's head as a baseball after a football match between Sheffield Wednesday and Barnsley in a video I shared on the 8th of February this year. Well, just days after the incident, the South Yorkshire Police Federation Chairman Sergeant Steve Kent jumped in trying to play down the actions of PC 3139 William Sampson of South Yorkshire Police, warning people to hand the clips they see with care and blaming the public being violent and causing trouble. Although the video only showed a few people not engaged with the police, and the police constable PC3139 William Sampson from South Yorkshire Police clearly had to take a run up in order to crack this lad in the head, all of which can be found in a video linked to up here. Now, six months on, PC3139 William Sampson from South Yorkshire Police is still working for the force, albeit on supposed restricted duties, as the investigation is still ongoing. I'm finding myself increasingly concerned about the actions of the IOPC and the police here as we've been seeing people locked up for allegedly spitting at police or assaulting police based on the word of the police within days if not weeks even during the closure of many courts but a clear attack on a young boy has now taken six months and is still with no conclusion in sight. I mean haven't they got an excuse handbook they simply flip through and throw some BS excuse as to why it's still working for them. I can't imagine any other employer keeping someone on with that kind of evidence against them and I'm utterly disgusted at the length of time it's taken any of them to do something about this wanton act of gratuitous violence. Now I'm sorry I haven't got more good news on this incident but still felt it was important to let you know that PC3139 William Sampson from South Yorkshire Police 
was in fact still employed and still working. Big thank you to all of the supporters of the channel, especially channel Patreon supporters. Your support is, of course, truly appreciated. And that genuinely is all I have for you in today's Too Much for YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as know many of you will. Until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials. Good night, all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, Hit that subscribe button up the top there if you haven't already become a subscriber that is support enough share the videos comment like it all helps if you're looking for something else to watch up top there is my latest video down the bottom there is a video that youtube recommends for you